Hey guys, Lindsay here, and I'm going to give you a tour of our tiny home. It is a Lance 845 truck camper. Come on in. So, this is our tiny home. <laughs> you have everything in one little space. We got the kitchen table, our dinette, our workspace, our sofa. We have our kitchen over here. It's got everything we need. And our bathroom is right here. And our bedroom is up behind that curtain. When we first decided that we wanted to live on the road, um, one of our initial ideas was to buy a van and to outfit a van and build it out and all that, but we had a extremely tight budget. And when we saw how much it took to build out a van and the cost of a van and all that, we just knew that we weren't going to be able to afford it. We weren't going to be able to build it out to how we liked it. Um, I have Crohn's disease, and one of my big number ones was I needed my own bathroom. Um, and with a van, a lot of times there's not enough room to put your own bathroom in, or uh, it's just too expensive to put a bathroom in. So we actually, Chris and I, we were at an RV dealership and we saw a truck and a camper. And we had no idea. We didn't even know. We didn't know what a truck camper was until we saw this. And our minds were just blown when we went inside of it that uh, you could have all of this in this little space on the back of a truck that we could have a 4x4 vehicle that could get us anywhere. We decided right then and there that we were going to get a camper, a truck camper. We ended up only spending less than 15000 for both the camper and the truck. Um, we put our camper on a 2002 F250 with the 7.3 diesel engine. Uh, we picked it out because it's a very reliable engine that can run on any type of diesel. It does it does not need def fluid or any of that emission stuff. So we knew that it would be a reliable vehicle when we are in Central and South America. We saved a lot of money because we bought a used older camper. Um, and we made it our own. We uh, painted the inside. We put new flooring down. We made curtains. Um, when we actually first moved in, we didn't paint anything. We did a few things. We did the curtains. We did the floor. It had an ugly yellow linoleum floor, and we put a uh, vinyl wood flooring down, and um, we kind of lived in it. We just lived in it for the first eight months, and then from there decided what we were going to change. Um, we knew there were some things that we didn't like after living in it that we knew we wanted to change. And so when we came back home to Florida after we did Alaska last year, we made some changes. We painted, you know, all the wood cabinetry white and gray. We took off our bathroom door because um, it was big. And it just got in the way <laughs> when it was open or if we were using it, it just got in the way. This right here is this, it's so much nicer. We bought it at Ikea. It rolls up when we're not using it. And it rolls down when we are using it. And it doesn't get in the way like a swinging door does. So we like this a lot. In our salon area here, um, we have most of our storage. These doors right here open up. We have um, a lot of our stuff that we have in here is like our quick grab stuff that we use a little more often. Um, so we pull these out, just little odds and ends that we can grab. Um, and then we also have our long-term storage in here as well. Our media we keep in here, our long-term long -term storage of all my medicines that I have to take for Crohn's and our extra uh, toiletries. And we have some, Chris's clothes. Chris, Chris likes to keep his clothes up in here for a quick grab. And this whole unit comes down. 
so we can access our stored stuff. In the past, we actually used to keep this down, and we had more stuff here, but we got rid of a lot of stuff, downsized a little bit, and we knew we needed less. And our salon here, this table is really neat because we can turn it. Sorry, it's a little squeaky. We can turn it. It gives us a little more room to do stuff here. Turn it. And then it can actually come off. And it also moves in and out so we can have more space. And it actually comes off here at the base. And it slips in down here. And it makes what we like to call our couch, <laughs> our couch, or it can be a second bed for guests. Finishing up the salon area and making use of every inch of space we have here. We keep all of Everest stuff, or most of Everest stuff down here. And now moving on to the kitchen. I love my kitchen. I am a cooking fanatic. I love to cook. I love to make meals. Um, especially with having Crohn's disease, I need to be able to make my own meals at times. Um, so it's good to have, it's great to have the whole stove and oven combination, our sink, and um, a whole bunch of storage to keep. I'll show you all my spices. <laughs> but I love the fact that I have a pretty much a full-on gas oven. This is my new cutting board. We actually took off the old stove cover it was ugly i hated it it was just this metal fold-up thing and it always fell on me while i was cooking so we got rid of that and i bought this awesome cutting board at ikea it fits perfect on here it even has like a little lip i just put down this you know this sticky material i don't know what it's called but it keeps the cutting board from falling off when we're driving so when I use the stove top, I move my cutting board over here. Put it on top of our drinking water bottles and it actually uh, makes another space where I can set stuff. It's great. So, I love my little cooktop, my gas cooktop. And we also have the oven. This is where we actually store most of our pots and pans. I just kind of cram them all in there. I've got some bowls in there, cooking bowls in there too as well. And we used to have, we used to have a microwave up here, but we hardly ever used it. Uh, we boondock most of the time. Most of the time we're running only on our solar and our battery power and that is not enough to run a microwave. And to me it was just a complete total waste of space. We didn't use it, I didn't like it, so we took it out, made this cabinet door, and now we have all this extra space. Chris made me this cute little cabinet door. You can tell it's handmade, but I like it. <laughs> and so we have more storage space over here. Have some more quick pull out utensils where we keep my measuring cups, spatula, scissors, some other cooking utensils, and we also keep extra spices in here as well. We have four plates, two bowls, some cups, our coffee cups squeeze in here. All that is in there, nice and organized. And 
our kitchen. If you notice, our kitchen's got this pretty tile. This is all new that we did over winter in Florida. Um, we added these sticky, they're like sticky tic-tac tiles that just go on here. I think they look awesome. They just made the space so much nicer. And then we bought, from Ikea, we bought these cute little shelves. I painted them white. And we just keep, you know, quick grab stuff, soaps for washing hands and the dishes. I keep my plants up here. We have this little basket for fruits and veggies. And then we also bought from Ikea this magnetic knife rack. And some might be wondering when we're driving, these knives have never moved. They've never fallen off. They've never gone anywhere. The same with the spices. They've always stayed right on these magnets. Even going off-road, off bumpy roads, they have never moved. And I also love my little utensil rack where I hang quick grab stuff for cooking. And then over here in the sink area, I keep my teapot. We we'll use this pretty much every day. Every day we use that to make coffee. We carry around these little bins. It makes washing dishes easier. It keeps the sink clean. When it comes to pantry storage, we keep most of our pantry items in this cabinet here under the sink. And then we have another storage space under the dinette. That is also our pantry storage. And I'll show you. So in here, this was actually set up to hang like clothes and stuff. It actually had like a clothes rack, but we don't use it for that. I'd much prefer to have it as a pantry. We actually added this awesome rollout. I love it. Um, it's great. We keep all of our like breakfast, our items, cereals, teas, all right in here. It's easy to roll out, grab. It's awesome. And then we built these shelves here. It's just plain wood shelves. We bought this little bar from Walmart. It's got little tabs, metal tabs in here that hold the shelves up. And then we added this piece of wood here to keep these wood shelves from moving, sliding forward when we're driving because that is an issue if you've watched any of our videos. We've gladly shown you what real RV life is like after you've moved around and you open cabinets and stuff falls all over you. It happens. Our cabinet storage down here, we keep other pantry utensils, most stuff that we don't use every day, but when I cook, you know, I've got some oils down here, some pasta. We've got these um, tubs, you can see that we store stuff in. I've got canned goods are down there. Boxed goods are in there. I keep my cookie sheet and aluminum foil in there. This is our little dish rack for drying dishes. You usually keep it right there. And then down in here we have just odd storage. I keep my vitamins that I take every day in here. They're not in here right now, but this is where I set them. Um, we have some extra. These containers are really nifty. And then under here we have some extra storage and chocolate. Can't forget the chocolate. When you live in an RV, you will find out that power and water are the two most important things that you always need plenty of. So we keep our extra water here. This is our drinking water. Um, we have 10 gallons extra. We do keep water in our water tank, but we do not drink the water from our water tank. We only use it for showering and for dishes. So this is just for drinking. We always have extra on hand. Uh, Chris has a little nifty tool that he uses to siphon out of here. And then we put it in this little container, and this is 
just a quick way to fill up our water bottles every day because we pretty much drink out of Nalgene's every day. And our fridge, <laughs> we actually painted the front with chalkboard paint so that we can, you know, write cute little sayings on it from time to time. Our love my fridge, it is small. Right now it's empty. It is small, but it can hold a lot. You'd be surprised the amount of food that we can keep in this thing. Um, it's great. At one point when we were in Alaska, we actually had this entire freezer full of halibut. We probably had 20 pounds of halibut stuffed in this thing. It was awesome. So this awesome fridge, it is a three-way. I mean, it works so well. It's so efficient. Um, it gets things freezing cold. Sometimes in here it's too cold and it will freeze our milk. <laughs> but it's great. It's a great little fridge. We love it. And if you're wondering where we use the bathroom and take a shower, this is it. I will show you. I love this thing. So, in here we have our toilet. We have our shower. We have a medicine cabinet where we keep extra toiletries. We hang our toiletry bags on this awesome rod here. And we also will hang extra stuff like our jackets and my shoes. I keep my shoes in this nifty little thing right here. We have a trash can and then we have cleaning supplies is what we keep in this little bucket. And when we use the shower, we just pull all the stuff out that we don't want to get wet and then we take a shower and I'll show you this. I love this shower head. We bought this. We bought this shower head. It's great. It's ox I think it's Oxygenics Body Spa. It is awesome. Um, it has a neat little shut off valve here so that when you're taking a shower and you don't want to waste water because when you're in an RV and you only have 29 gallons of water, you have to take military showers. And this little shut off valve is great for that because you don't have to turn the water off at the sink. You can just shut the valve off here. And then in here we have, it's got this great little skylight here so if you're extremely tall like Chris you will not bump your head <laughs> and there's also a vent you can open up if you want to dry it out faster in here after you shower and you can open this vent or if you just want to air out the bathroom that's good to have we also when taking a shower we have this great little shower curtain keeps the water from going out into the camper. And then of course the toilet. You don't have a whole lot of room when you're on the toilet, but it works. So it's nice to have. This is our fantastic fan. I love this fan. I could not live in this camper without it. It keeps me cool at night. <laughs> I have to have my fan running at night or I can't sleep without it. It brings in fresh air. We have a vent that we crack over the bed and it pulls air, cool air from the outside and then it goes out from here and it just cools everything down in the camper. It keeps it from being stuffy in here. Um, I just love it. I could not live in here without it and I suggest that if you have a camper or a van or a bus and you don't have a fan, I really suggest buying one of these and installing it. It is awesome. Our AC unit here. The only time that we can run the AC unit is if we are hooked up to AC power or we have two Honda 2000 generators that we run parallel and that both those hooked up together will run our AC unit when we need it. So that's nice to have the AC unit. We also have our propane heater for when we need it on those cold nights. It is right here. It's right behind here. We just take this off, 
It's our At Atwood heater. We hit the reset button and then we go over here to the thermostat. We turn it on and then we set the temperature and it lights up. It runs on propane. It lights up and it gets it nice and toasty and warm in here. And here we have, this is like our control panel. <laughs> we have our radio here. We actually have speakers all throughout the camper that run the radio. The radio has Bluetooth. It's great if we want to play music. We can do that. It's awesome. Uh, this is our fresh holding and gray tank monitor. It tells us when our fresh water is empty or full, if our holding tank or gray tank is full, and it shows us if our battery is completely charged or not. And this little thing up here is our solar controller. This right here controls all the power that's coming from our solar panels into our battery. We have 300 watts of solar. Uh, we've never had any need or want for more power. We have two batteries that the solar panels are hooked up to. And then we have a 600 watt Xantrax inverter so that we can charge our computers, our phones, um, run our blender, or we can run some other items on there that don't take more than 600 watts like our TV and stuff like that. And this is our bedroom. It's pretty self-explanatory. This is where we sleep. It is also where we keep most of our clothes. And I will show you that. So this is my side of the bed. Chris's side of the bed over here. I have a nice little area where I hang up my nicer shirts and clothes that I don't want to get wrinkled. They all hang up in there. I have this awesome bin here. I love that I keep my clothes, my other clothes folded away in and there. I keep most of my hats and hair items in this little basket here. And then this is my makeup mirror where if I ever put makeup on or if I do my hair, which is very rare, I use that because we got rid of our mirror. And then in here is where I keep most of my quick grab clothing items for like when we go hiking or exercise or whatever. I keep most of my gym shorts, tank tops, and then my socks and underwear are in this bin here. And then these lights are great. All of our lights in the camper are LED. And that's great to have if you boondock a lot and you need to conserve energy. LED draws way less power than normal bulbs do. So we have these great little bedside lamps. And then over here on Chris's side, right now this is our guitar storage as well. <laughs> Chris keeps all of his books, his clothes. We keep our winter blanket right here for when it's cold. And then we have our TV. And this is new. Our friend built us this awesome little TV stand. Chris actually has more storage space in here. He's got a little drawer. I don't know what he keeps in there, whatever. <laughs> And then over here, this is Everest's bed. She doesn't always sleep here, but if she ever wants her own little space to sleep, she comes over here and she just sleeps on these pillows right here next to our bed. And then Chris's clothes. So, in here, I kind of girlied up this area. I added my color, my blue, and my grays. And um, I had these curtains made. Chris's mom sewed these curtains for me. So we hung those up here. We used to have these valances 
Um, we had them for a little while, but I just thought they kind of cluttered up the space a little too much. So I took them off and I just got these little curtain rods and the curtain goes there. We actually keep uh, this material, Reflectix material in the windows. Um, it keeps, helps keep the light out. It also helps keep the cool air in or the hot air in if you need to be warm. It's great. And then back here, because this is an older camper, we did discover wood rot around this window back here. So Chris fixed that. We fixed the wood rot and we then installed this pretty wood wallpaper to cover up the work that we had to um, fix back here. And I like it. I like it a lot. I think it adds a nice touch. It's pretty. I have my pretty little throw pillows. Chris calls them throwaway pillows, but I love my throw pillows. <laughs> they will stay. We're not going to throw them away. <laughs> and then of course, our pretty little LED lights. They're a nice touch. I like them. If you've ever owned an RV or a truck camper, you know how hard it is to make the bed up in this thing. Uh, this is about as made as the bed gets. We hardly ever make the bed because it is just a pain in the rear end. It is horrible. You have to be basically an acrobat to make the bed in this thing. With cab over campers and even um, RVs in general, a lot of times because the bed just sits flat on here and if you're ever in like humid states or whatever, sometimes you can get a little bit of mold. And we actually had that issue. When we got back from Alaska, we did a deep cleaning in the camper. We lifted up the bed and we went, oh crap, there's mold on our bed. So Chris built this uh, wood platform that raises our mattress. We have a memory foam mattress and it raises it up off the uh, cab over here and it basically gives it air. It creates airflow because there's slots here and it helps with the whole mold issue and because we are on a budget that was the cheapest option to go to raise the bed up and to prevent that issue ever happening again. So. That's what we did. Plus it keeps me from falling through. Plus it keeps Chris's heavy behind from falling through. Because we boondock a lot and we're not plugged into a 110 power source, we installed these power strips. They are hardwired into our inverter here. And we ran them back behind our appliances it comes up there's a little hole here that goes up behind the heater and it runs back behind all of our appliances we have one that comes up here our water tank is under here this comes up here and it runs up here to the tv and also where we can charge our cell phones at night and then our other one comes up back behind the refrigerator, comes in down here behind the dinette so that we have a power strip right here. We can charge our laptops while we are working. Thank you for coming along on our truck camper tour. If you have any ideas or suggestions um, for how we did things in our camper, please let us know. We would love to hear your thoughts and ideas, um, even comments of what you liked. If you have any questions of how we did things, if I didn't explain them properly and you want to know more, don't hesitate to ask. We will answer as soon as we can. If you like the setup of our truck and camper, please subscribe to our channel. Comment, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you get notified when we put up new videos and keep following along on our journey south.